come with us now, if you dare, down a rickety staircase into a dank, dark basement. What awaits the Saturday Night Freak Show? <laughs> hey, thanks for listening to the Saturday Night Freak Show podcast. The movie review and talk show podcast comes your way every Saturday. It's just got to be bad for you. It's so good. It's got to be bad. <laughs> Junk food. Junk food. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Junk food for your ears. Yeah. yeah. It's, this is, you get your dose of fiber with yeah. this. It's your Saturday treat. Yeah. With, the, there's with a little fiber. There's Whoa. nutritional value. Somewhere. Yeah, hey, there's, there's there. riboflavin in this yeah. show. <laughs> yeah. You're going to find out what you have more of tonight, nutrition. It's or... like frosted mini wheats, you know? Yeah, like yeah, yeah. It's, one side yeah there's yeah, fiber yeah, in there, yeah. but there's also sugar in there. Cheerios, yeah. like wheat. honey nut Cheerios. Yeah. Right. You know, good Only for you, one gram still... of sugar a bowl. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, these <laughs> people talking to you are the internet radio superstar. Holly. Michaela. Sean. And I'm Colin. And tonight we watched a movie that was chosen by... Sean. What did we watch tonight for your spooky season pick? Spooky season pick tonight. We watched the greatly titled Hack a Lantern. Yeah, greatly Hack-a-lantern. titled. Gra- it's a great title. I think it's a good title. Yeah. Good title. Okay. No, aptly titled. Aptly is titled. the question. No. Yeah. Yeah. No. Uh, no. Greatly. Yes. A great aptly, title. No. Not mm-hmm. yes. Yeah. Uh, do we? Do what year is this? Nineteen eighty-eight. It felt like it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is. You could tell yep. this is deep into like yeah. slasher craze drop off like it's oh, yeah. dropping yeah. off yeah. hard now yeah. Yeah. yeah the hairstyles are amazing yes. in this great. movie they're, they're big great. Uh, yep. they're there big. is a there is a hole in the ozone layer caused by this movie alone. <laughs> yes. I'm <guessing>. yes yes <laughs> yes this movie I'm has guessing. personality i'll this give it that yeah sponsored by aquanon mm-hmm. yes and it's directed by mm. uh, that's the question it is uh <laughs> that is jag mundra jag or mundra. jag mundra do we okay. know this? He's an Jacques Indian. Mundra. He's an Indian director. Okay. Uh, I don't. We don't really know him from. He has directed a lot. We are yeah. not going to know him from. Yes, and I'm going to give you some because American films or he started out doing Indian films and okay. kind of went back and forth. But yeah. he did American films, uh, and the titles are my favorites. So okay. oh, good, love uh, it. Let's do it. He started with a, like Open House in 1987, 1988 Hack Lantern. It's like his fourth movie, sure. but his like second probably American movie. Then he went on to the Jigsaw Murders. Eyewitness to Murder, Night Eyes, Last Call. Now we're getting into the good ones. Night Eyes sounds like a sexy, erotic yeah. 90s yeah, thriller. Oh, Night Eyes. Oh, just wait for oh, it. Oh, boy. Okay. <laughs> legal Tender. Oh, and you, uh, yeah. Ew. And you know what the legal ew. means. Ew. I don't like that. Oh, gross. Yep. yep. We have Wild Cactus, LA Goddess, Tropical Heat, The Other Man, Improper Conduct, Irresistible <laughs> like Impulse, Tainted Love. Monsoon. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I like Irresistible Impulse. So you said a lot. Perfume Garden, Tales of the Kama Sutra. Oh. oh okay. Private Moments, Perfume. Wait, is that a documentary? Yeah. <laughs> Betrayed by Passion. Ooh, I like it. <laughs> Natasha. Natasha. <laughs> and then we end it with Chase in 2010 and Naughty in 2011. He did pass away in 2011. Oh, so Naughty. Oh, may, he, may he rest. May he rest. Naughty oh, was his final oh, film. Oh, yep. That's unfortunate. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Well, I mean, his uh, talent could only continue to grow from, from this movie. Many things grew on his sets. Uh, who's <laughs> in this movie? Hi, Pike. <laughs> I mean, excuse me. So yes. Aring, he got the. Didn't Who's he get his high name, didn't he yeah. name above the it's title? High Pike yeah. in yeah. Hack O' Lantern. It you're is. Like, what? I mean, High Pike is a character actor from the seventies and eighties. He's been in a lot. He's he's done black exploitation. He's done mainstream. He did uh, Blade Runner. He's done Dolomite. He's done. Uh, what uh, Lamora, Child of whatever. What's the the Child's called? Tale of Supernatural, which the would very that's improper. Right. Sean High Pike. It's, it's on, on the, the Saturday wall. Night Freak Show. Oh, oh my god! Wow. Wait, what's the third movie? This one. Hack the Lantern. Hack uh, Lantern. Dolomite and uh, Lamora. Oh, and Lamora. Child's yes. Tale of the Supernatural. Lamora. Or Lamora the Lady Dracula. Yeah. Remember that, that when he was the bus driver? Oh, no. I remember that movie. I felt yeah. <laughs> icky in, watching it. In uh, Blade Runner, he's the guy that uh, Harrison Ford goes to, to to find out about the Egyptian who made the snake, you know, right? It was a sure. Taffy. Some, Which Taffy movie? Lewis. Taffy, yes. Taffy Lewis, yeah. Which version? Uh. And in this movie, he plays? He plays Grandpa. Grandpa. Creepy Grandpa. Yeah. yeah this is Grandpa's movie. It yeah. is Grandpa's We're movie. Just like, say that. Uh, yeah. Well, I mean, I would hope that uh, he's starring. He's uh, yeah. top build. Who else is in this movie, though? <laughs> Gregory Scott Cummins. There oh, is. there you go. Freak show favorite. Yes. Welcome to the Gregory Scott Cummins fan club. Making yes. our way through his filmography. Yeah. Who we get here? I had no idea. <laughs> yeah, I know. So, like, because we've done uh, 
Like several of his movies. No, he's four. He's a four timer. Yeah, he's yeah. got to oh, be. Oh, yeah. right? He's on the wall plus some. Yeah. So like we're like the only like uh, Gregory gonna, Scott Cummins fan club out we there. We might right? be. I wonder I mean, if other people probably know yeah, of his know. past stuff. They've Pe- seen him um, again. Yeah, like people might have an appreciation for him just because of it's always sunny in Philadelphia. Right. Yeah. Right. Like that was his kind of comeback, I guess. <laughs> sure. Playing Max Dad. Yeah. If you will. Yes. <laughs> but we've seen him. I mean, his best role that we've seen him in is probably what Action, Action USA. Action USA. USA. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah. He was in Stone Cold. He was in. I mean, I may bring Batman Return just to give him another credit for this. <laughs> oh, that's too good. Dude, I'm looking show. at his TV credits and like he was a series regular on Bosch. Really? Oh. Yes. Like multiple episodes. And he was also okay. in that David Duchovny uh, Charles Manson show Aquarius. Oh, was yeah. he? Yes. Oh, the one where NBC's like, yeah. Yeah, we can do that. We yeah. can do Zodiac on. Yeah. Right. Or they're like, it's experimental. We'll do it on streaming right. and we yeah. can show nudity. Oh, and, and okay. He is a, like a regular character on Bosch because he was on 53 episodes and then he got Fuck. back from for Bro- Bosch Legacy. Damn, he got brought uh, back for the Legacy so he, sequel. So he's one of the team. Yes. Yeah, he's exactly. He's cops on the team. Yes. Interesting. But I'm, I'm just scrolling because I know there's got to be more stuff we can do of his and i want to keep oh, doing yeah. it we got to keep it going now well, yeah. you know yeah. well, what's the uh, what's the appeal of uh gregory scott coming he's got crazy face. eyes he's, he's got face. crazy eyes <laughs> yeah. Yes. yeah crazy eyes he sometimes has a fish face mm-hmm. um, yeah he's got big lips but he oh he's like perpetually in a frown when yeah. he's being stoic yes. he, so he well, looks like a fish most of the time we see him, I guess he's playing another bad guy. Oh, he was in, yeah, did we say Phantom of the Mall, Mall Eric's Revenge? Uh, yes. yes, he was a bad he was guy in that. man in that. Mm-hmm. Yes. Uh, this was a prequel to that, apparently. And Sean, he was in two episodes of Baywatch Nights. Of course. So, yeah. I mean, it all comes back to Baywatch Nights. Yeah, there we go. It's uh, yeah. yeah, Baywatch Nights is the it's the tie that binds. Yep. So is he an interesting actor? <laughs> I yeah. find him interesting. I, yeah, I think his look and his choice of what he does with his look is interesting because he has a very intense face (laughs) and he so he doesn't have to dial it up very much to be intense right so when he does take it up it's like oh whoa calm down dude yeah he's one of those guys if like you had a friend and he just like stopped and looked at you you'd be like yep Okay, yeah, he does good? that in this movie. Yeah. He looks, he takes off his sunglasses. <laughs> he looks around, directly looks in the camera. Directly, directly camera. at the camera. Let's not forget he was also in Cliffhanger, which we did on the show. Was he? Yes. He's, oh, wow. Yeah, he's credited in Cl- he's Cliffhanger's a guy named timer. Ryan. <laughs> wow. Well, I got to yeah. go back and watch Cliffhanger. Yeah. I almost bought that Blu ray the other day. Fuck, yeah. I should have done it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> wow. So this guy, I mean, if you're he gets not around. aware we love, of yeah. Gregory We're Scott coming, yes. Yeah, he should be by now from listening to this show. I know who he is. Yeah. Maybe he'll put a poster up in my room somewhere. I w- why is he not doing conventions? I was, I was gonna for say, sure meet him because he's still a fucking like, working yeah, actor. He's still on. It's always yeah. sunny. <laughs> yeah. yeah, like he doesn't Hold have on. the downtime to do conventions. Let me yeah. see how many episodes. If of Marvel it. actors can yeah. show up to a convention, yeah, I think exactly. He can. can we get Gregory Scott Cummins in a Marvel movie? <laughs> yeah. Oh my can god. Even if I he's just he like a it. Shield agent or something, right? right. You know, like, like give him something. He would be a Shield or like a Hydra bad guy, something like that. Yeah, he's got. He'd be a mini boss. Yeah, he'd be like a weird like alien character in a Guardians movie. Yeah, I could. Oh yeah. yeah! See, he should have been like in you know Stallone's like Stallone's, Blink and You Miss It yeah. gang. He should have been like the right hand guy in Stallone's he gang. Or, or like have. one of the like the right hand man of the big villain. I think that's yeah. his. Isn't that Batman Returns? Isn't that he one of the he's, clowns? He's yeah. one of the clown yeah. armies. Yeah. Yeah. He steals a baby. Yeah. Right. Yeah, okay. yeah. As you do. He does he's, some flips and steals a baby. He's got the line in front of the courthouse, right? He's yeah. like, I, so. I don't know, whatever to say. So, uh, it's so it's, it's one of my favorite parts of the movie. Yeah. yeah. I'm going to watch it. that movie. Yeah. yeah. It's like he's accepting an Oscar or something like that. Yeah. Right? I just want to say yeah. Yeah. Yes. Oh, yeah. yeah, it's, yeah, great. yeah. it's great. So there you go. Well, yeah, you've seen him. He's good. Now you know who he is. But you're all aware of Hacko Lantern, of course, because you saw that episode of The People's Court. Indeed. Now, yeah, now we, when okay, I mentioned yeah. we were watching Hack Lantern yeah. last week. Colin's like, I know Hack Lantern. Yeah. Not because we've watched it once before. <laughs> and Michaela wasn't here for it. The yeah, two, I didn't. Us, I missed oh, this whole conversation. The three of us watched it, but she wasn't here. I forgot you weren't here for <laughs> it. Uh, so, uh, what was it? Uh, Massacre Video? Yep. I think Massacre Video, who released the Blu-ray for this. So they acquired the rights and mm. they released the Blu-ray for it. Well, they sold it to, I think it was Vinegar Syndrome. But ma- I think Massacre Video worked through. At least like they licensed Right, or at least at that time, I don't know when the People's Court thing was from. But apparently at a certain point, um, there was uh, somebody who uploaded the entire movie to YouTube or what have uh-huh. you. Because he w- did commentary or, right. you know, he was, quote unquote, he considered himself a horror host of what have you. I mean, without those people, we would not be able to do the show. So thank you for you YouTube uploaders for your service because, <laughs> just, you know, I mean, we just watched something, what, like legally. two weeks ago that we couldn't watch yeah. anywhere else. What, yeah. what did yeah, we just watch? Yeah, but if you're going to pirate it, at least give us a better copy of yeah. uh, Demon Warp than what yeah. we got. Yes. Jesus. Yeah. But, 
So uh, Massacre Video found this, sued him. He's like, you can, we own this. You can't mm-hmm. do the copyright thing. And there was a pretty ridiculous argument via Zoom. Oh, so, my God. Really? From some COVID oh, era, yeah. Yeah. Right. So oh, the judge this. and everything, they were there. But in yeah. court, two big monitors, and they're arguing back and forth about the it. rights to this. Uh-huh. And <laughs> the the Massacre Video guy was like, he's got long hair and a goatee and everything. Like, he did <laughs> he his knows, hair he, up. he knows his shit. He, yeah. And he, he knew he's like... I'm righteous right now. Yeah. yeah so I'm like, going to go at this guy. And the guy who did it knew, he knew what he was doing. Everyone knows they're not it. supposed to do yeah. it. That's right. not the point. Yeah. yeah. He went right. all the way to, to court with that. Yeah. Like, the no, people's no. court. It's Calm a down. public domain. <laughs> <laughs> okay, man. No, but he was like, no, it was wrong. Like he fully yeah. admitted right. it. Yeah. It was like, so He tried stupid. to talk as like, like every person who ever goes to court and is in trouble, they just try and talk their way around it yeah. legally. And they're just like, well. Okay, Sean, was that you when you got busted for pirating? <laughs> no, Sean, I was too scared. To I was just like, I did it! I did it! I'm sorry, yeah. I did what it. What movie was it again? That got you? I don't think we should talk about this here. Yeah, uh, probably. Probably. <laughs> right. yeah. I'll tell you. I just there. know that there was one movie. That, what, I can't remember what the movie was, but I remember bringing it up to you once and being like, "Oh, this is a really good movie." And you see it, and you're like, "I will forever hate that it's movie." Like I've seen it. <laughs> I have a paid grudge. For it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Never gonna watch yeah. again. <laughs> um, so this is a uh, a Halloween movie directed by an Indian director. What yes. is the? Uh, there's a lot of um, Halloween traditions that are, are there. What are, well, I mean, what are the traditions of Halloween, Colin? Uh, you have the, uh, the 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 visions of Kali that was the multi armed. Uh, <laughs> oh yeah, we yes. did. We had a whole rock video with. Yeah. Kali. Oh yeah, that rock yeah. video that was, was that fucking was awesome. The best part. I yeah. enjoyed. We had eye lasers and <laughs> yeah. shit. Oh my god, I forgot. What was the name that. of the band? DC Lacroix was yes, that it? DC oh no, LaCroix. the one. No, that was the. Yes, that was right, that was right. the music video. Right. DC Lacroix. Never heard of them before, and uh, the name of the song was uh, Devil's Son. Right? Devil's Son. Yeah. The Devil's Devil Son. Son. That's the song yeah. they're known for. Yes. Yeah, 80s would, yeah. full <laughs> hair. Oh yeah, the whole. Oh, this is what the, Tipper Gore thinks. This is a documentary. Like yeah. she saw this and was like, <laughs> oh, this, "This is why we have to stop this." Yeah, yeah. this scared the shit yeah. out of her. Um, Indeed. <laughs> Would the there's also the uh, the belly dancer you gotta have the the snake uh, oh, belly sure dancer. that Halloween tradition you have yeah. a stripper yeah. at your house. Halloween party uh, full stripper full yeah. stripper like no one was even tossing singles her way just yeah. she made no money that night no, no. <laughs> poor thing she works for the devil <laughs> she works for the devil. so she gets her payment later she yeah. does so okay the devil's son and the devil stripper yeah. so what yeah. the what? devil stripper copyright twenty twenty three devil stripper yeah, yeah. for sure yeah. yeah. Where's Jim Winorski when you need him? We can pitch. Yeah. Some, uh, we can, um, <laughs> yeah. so, He's like, I've already, I have had that idea for 15 years. It could be. <laughs> oh, yeah, Somebody yeah. give me yeah. money for it. <laughs> I'll show you the storyboard. <laughs> <laughs> right, 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 yeah. So, uh, well, get us into this. What, uh, what's this movie about? How do we, how do we start this off? This movie is about. How did this movie start? I it's forgot. It's about uh, family. <laughs> I mean, it truly is yeah. a gross, yeah. gross family. A bear. <sighs> Talk about sleazy families side by side. This with Angel, and you got a real double feature. Ugh. My God, uh, so, yeah. Uh, Butcher Baker. That, maker. That's probably a better yeah. one. Yeah. But I, I also picked up getting. a little bit of blood beat to this. Yes. You know? I don't yes. know why, because it's one of those like regional low how mu- budget. How much of a blood beat do you remember? Uh, More I than I want samurai to. Samurai. Yeah. Yes. The there was a Wisconsin samurai. Fields. Yep. It was and Wisconsin hunting. in winter. Yeah, yep. there was a pulsing or something. Yep. Yeah, yep. Was, oh, yep. Oh. Yep. Yep. Uh, but we start out with we start out with Grandpa, I believe. Mm-hmm. And Grandpa Pied Pike wearing Pied Pike. a ridiculous uh, hair piece. Yeah, yes. delivering his pumpkins. Delivering his pumpkins. Turquoise as he ring on every finger, yeah, on yeah. both hands. Like, Lots of rings. I mean, that's how you. He's like a conductor for the devil. Mm-hmm. That's what the rings do. Yeah. <laughs> but he's delivering his pumpkins, and he's he's stopping by his um, his daughter's quote house. unquote da- his daughter's house and his grandchildren quote unquote I'll call it that. Uh, but specifically to visit Tommy mm-hmm. and to bring him a gift, a pumpkin, a skeleton. And a few other things. What did he bring him? Do we ever? Brought him the oh, the, the, oh, right. Yeah. The necklace. The talisman. Yeah. yeah. Right. He comes to visit his favorite grandson, quote unquote. Yeah. Uh, uh, emphasis like... on the son. Yeah. Yeah. As we find out later. <laughs> yes. <laughs> to bring him the talisman um, and to tell him that there's greater things waiting for him one day. Well, do it like mm-hmm. high pike. Oh, uh, uh, there's greater things coming your way. <laughs> it was pretty good. Something like that, yeah. That I need pretty, more rings. Yeah. Well, that was pretty solid. Yeah, you, need the, you need the metal yeah, clinking together yeah, of the rings. Yeah. Very gravity. How would you describe High Pike's acting style? Scenery It's doing. like Buster Poindexter combined <laughs> with creepy. 
He's very over the top, yes. I think. Yes. But given it is all, because he's just like mugging for the camera. Yeah. Yep. He's a character actor who got a starring role. Yeah. And that's what happens when that happens. Mm -hmm. Right. When you said he died like shortly after this one, right? Was uh, this was his last film role. I think he died around 2000, maybe nine or eight, something like that. Mm. So he, he retired at a certain point, but he hadn't, like we said, a prolific uh, character acting career, I would say. So Tommy's special, and yep. Tommy gets the medallion yep. and takes it home. Oh, wait, wasn't there a scene? There was like a, an odd kind of scene where... Uh, well, he gives him a pumpkin as well, which yeah. is a later carved. Right, and so. then uh, he ends up accidentally cutting himself, Tommy mm -hmm. does, with while he's carving the pumpkin. Your dad's supposed to do that. And then he sucks the blood off his finger. finger. Yeah, and he's bleeding, and he sucks. I was like, no, Mom, I like the taste of blood. And this is where we know. Grandpa said it was good for yeah, me. Yeah, something's up with this kid, and we're like, what's going on? But he's got, he, I don't think we knew that he had a satanic medallion at this point. No. No, no he point. had It was like it, yeah. just a piece of jewelry, like in a handkerchief. We didn't yeah. see what it was. Right. Yeah. Yeah. But Mom and Dad uh, clearly are like, you know, stay away from your grandpa. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it just makes a kid want to run right towards him when you say that. Yeah, you know? <laughs> yep, yep. Well, Bill and Dad is like, I'm, if you're not going to tell yeah, your father, you to, won't confront your father, so I'm going to tell him off. And so he wanders out to the barn, and what does he find? Satan. There you go. Or satanic or ritual. Yes. Yep. Mm -hmm. yep. Red so. cloaks, pentagram, the whole the whole mm -hmm. deal. Indian. Can yep. Candles. Yep. Yep. So uh, <laughs> Grandpa is a satanic warlock, apparently, and uh, they're conducting Basically. a ritual on Halloween Eve, mm -hmm. and uh, they don't like being confronted, and they, they the hammer him. Yeah, they hammer him to death, mm -hmm. poor old Bill. And then they sacrifice him and light him and his car on fire. Mm-hmm. Like you, do, like you do. Yeah. Like you do, which uh, apparently Tommy witnesses. Did we actually see the car going on fire? We just saw the no, no, it's like the a fire line around of fire. it. This movie yeah. doesn't have money to light a yeah, car yeah, on yeah, fire. Yeah, we yeah. can't turn that car on fire. Yep. And then we see the satanic uh, uh, pendant, which then smash cut to 20 years later, and like Tommy's 13. all grown up. But said he died in 68, and the movie takes place in. But in the movie, it's 13. They say it a few times. It's been 13 years without my husband, Bill. But Bill's. Headstone said 19... Okay. Right, I'm just saying the movie happens earlier than what it know, was released. They were like, you know, all the characters are 18, but they're played by 25. If it happened 20 years year later, the kid would be like 25, yeah, but everyone's yeah. supposed to be like in high school still. Well, uh... Even very tall, very muscular, uh, um, older Tommy, which is Gregory Scott Cummins. Bam. There yeah. you go. Which is... I, I found it funny, because what Gregory Scott Cummins' character Tommy looks like as a child does... Not look anything like what he looks like when he grows up. No, but his it looks brother exactly does. Exactly like the brother. Yeah. <laughs> exactly like his brother. Yeah. yeah, and his brother looks like the kid from the meme where he's on the computer and they turn. He's the like, hey, he's thumbs up. Yeah. Yes, he looks like that's a thumbs that up kid. Meme kid. Yeah. I swear to God. Yes. Did no one like put this together in casting? Yeah. No, right. They're like, How wait, they... you look more like. Yeah. The kid I wonder if. Yeah. W w then you wonder like, was they the roles cast different yeah. or something? Uh, I don't know. I think they came across Gregory Scott Cummins and they needed, wanted a more taller, imposing figure. Yeah. Than yeah. what Roger, the other brother, well, what, would yeah. be. What, what's he Raj. been up to, uh, 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 Tommy? What's he been up to in the, the 13 years since his <laughs> father's death? <laughs> Living a in lot. a garage. L lifting weights in the basement <laughs> aggressively. Yeah. Aggressively. With yeah. a Rambo. On his uh, bare you know, mattress. Like yeah. Head, that headband. Yeah. basement had to smell. Yeah. Just, yeah. just a bare mattress and clothes around. <laughs> It and just well, he, the brother comes in at one point. He like basically politely says that because he's like it's very stuffy in here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like, but there's a whole thing going on with uh, mom, right? Uh, oh, mom. Mom, mom, mom has not been mom. the same. What's mom's since. name? Mom. Mom. She has very long uh, blonde yeah, hair. Yeah, too long. Gonna... This, yeah, is, this, this is, is very... this is. I'm in a fundamentalist cult length yep. of right. hair. She yes. wearing a very Gale long hair. denim. Yeah. Dress. Yes. So, yeah. Yes. She Very definitely sits on it all the time. That's how mm -hmm. long it is. Yeah, it's a bit like I had a too couple much. friends whose moms had just long. It's just like it doesn't doesn't make me feel good. I don't know. It <laughs> makes me, yeah. It makes me uncomfortable. Yeah. Yeah. It's too knees, long. Hair yeah. But it's is just it? too long. Yeah. It's, it's like what it's just too damn long. Yeah. I mean, it looks. I mean, it's very long and luxurious blonde hair. It looks all right, but it's just too long. It's just like I don't trust these people. Cut your damn hair. And she's going through an emotional breakdown similar to the mom in um, fuck. Why is that? Oh my god! I can't believe I. 
blood rage. Blood rage. Yes. Oh, blood rage. Yes. Oh, yes. Oh, Thank okay. you. Blood rage. Yeah. That's what they I are on the yeah. same emotional bandwidth Louise path Lasser? here. Very yeah. Yeah. So. They are both having their own mental breakdown, kind of separate of the rest of the movie. Yeah. yeah. Yes, very very true. Hers yeah. is not as extreme as Louise Lasser's no. was, and no one's no. could be. But this woman can't do anything without sobbing. Like she's she's literally gardening. Yeah. Cut to watering the flowers. <laughs> Cut to sobbing is what yes, it was for yes. most of this. Movie. Yes, yeah. yes. Oh, uh, it was great. And, she, and she's working. This is a vineyard. Like she has a farm yeah. Yeah. to work yes. on. It's yeah. an orchard, a vineyard, yeah. hills, rolling hills. Yeah. Yeah. it's lush. Like, it's, yeah. got its, own, it's well yes. kept. It's yeah. got its own yeah, surprise. And I think she it's just has her. To have a staff. Yeah. No, like man, it's yeah. Like it's I agree with you, Holly. It's got to have. How did they get the filming here? Like that's why I. It's got to be like a somebody's produce, friend's house or something yeah. like that. I don't yeah, know. maybe it was. Uh, maybe it was Jags. Mm-hmm. Yeah, maybe because it seemed like was it like yeah, right? Because somebody else with the same last name had uh, ponied up the money or wrote. No, it. no, no, no. There, there was there was a different last name, but yeah, our executive produced it. Uh, yeah. Part of the writing, yes. Yeah. So, um, so we're setting up the dynamic. We know. Well, we I guess we don't know. So, uh, uh, Tommy has grown up. Mm. He's all dressed in black. Yep. And he hangs out in his mom's basement mm-hmm. and uh, he listens to music, uh, which we see full on music videos yep. where uh, Kali the demon shows up and shoots him with lasers. And yeah, the, yeah, there's green laser eye lasers that come out that, yep. d- I mean, uh, evaporate the band. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It was left. very promising. Yeah. What? This the, scene. The scene. Oh, yeah. I mean, I yeah. liked it. I liked it. Yeah. She yeah. ends up uh, like cutting off. Uh, she turns his trident. guitar into a trident, which is like, <laughs> yeah, that's all guitars, right? Yeah. It's just the, yeah. just playing the devil's trident. Yeah. yeah. Well, I mean, that's it's, it's fun. Just, it just comes out of nowhere in this movie. That's a good You're movie like, title. The devil's trident. The devil's yeah. Trident. yeah. 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 Freak show. Yeah. But uh, is, did it come out of like nowhere? They're like, all of a sudden there's a heavy metal rock video and like a full length heavy metal rock video. It's because he falls asleep listening to that song. Right. Yeah, he chose it perfectly. Yeah. Yeah. Says, yeah, it's his dream. Yeah, mm-hmm. and uh, so he's the devil's son. Mm. Yes, yeah. basically, yeah. Okay, and so, so and and it's like, and he's been told, like they've been preparing for this for a long time, and his grandpa's been telling him this, so he's got this in his <laughs> head. Bless you. He's yeah. got this in his head that this is. But they never where specify like at what age. Like, is there a specific like age I, ritual? Right, that I he, think it's I the think Halloween. Right, I think it's the Halloween when you're eighteen. 13 the, years later. Sister, it's never said. But the sister's 18. Oh, what sorry. does that matter? They're not they the same twins. age. He's the older brother. Okay. You can, you can be close, can't you? How close can you be? <laughs> and then there's Nine a middle, but then there's also the middle brother. Right. Yeah, all right. So we have, so, we have, yeah. he's got the, family. the whole so family. He's like so he's in his got, early 20s. Yes. He's the oldest one. Um, Tommy is. So he's out of, he's obviously out of, uh, so is Roger. So the, everyone's out of school. Yeah. yeah Cause except Roger for has Vera. Go, he's a Ro- cop. Roger has gone through like <laughs> yeah. police, police training, law yeah. enforcement training. Like right. he's a cop. <laughs> right. So we've got that. He reminded me of the cop in uh, motel hell, right? Uh, a little like bit. The, yeah. 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 Kind of the, the, the country sheriff. Well, he's a deputy. The sheriff, uh, wears a cowboy hat and, and wanders around making yeah. pronouncements and he's saying, in two scenes, yes. Yeah. Um throwing stuff at his deputy and you know, whatever. But yes. um and who's the, the third in the family? Vera, their younger sister. Who's introduced to us in a bathtub, I think, is her friend is coming to pick her up for the Halloween party. That's what the whole not, thing is well, about. Well, yeah, the decorating but, committee. Right, yep. yeah, because yeah. they have many, yeah, not picking up yet, because they have many things to do before we actually get to the party. Mm-hmm. Many things. Like party fall in love later. with her brother. A whole yeah. thing. There's so a whole there's a love thing here between uh beth and roger beth has her name yes beth and roger yeah but beth comes over um to see vera we get the whole we get the bathtub scene the fake spider which (laughs) grabs a spider and washes and she rubs it all over her body before she (laughs) makes the connection that it's a spider like like they they see her like pick up the loofah and it's like i'm sorry not the same they don't feel that similar yeah no no. there's loofahs usually don't have like three little bulbous things they don't have right and they don't have legs yeah Yeah. Well, I got to tell you, when I saw this scene, I was like, because I mean, obviously the joke of it is that it's, you know, it's a fake spider that they put in. Sure. That's the reveal. But the scene actually plays like you see the spider (laughs) coming into frame seemingly on its own. But you're like, that is a rubber rubber spider that she picks it up and and puts it and it's not doing anything. Right. She's like, "Ah, ah, ah," and because we uh, 
I thought this the, movie was like, oh, right. This is- <laughs> the way the movie is, we don't know if they're going for real spider or fake yeah, spider. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Because like, oh, of wow, this is the just- cheapness of it. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so that's fun. Yeah, <laughs> but it the turns out that uh, it was supposed to be a fake spider. Yes, indeed. Um. So yeah, we've got subplots. We got uh, mom having. Uh, well, she has a, a continuous moment. mental breakdown. Yeah, because um, she keeps confronting grandpa. Mm. over you know you're not gonna get your you know claws into tommy he's my son yes and grandpa says he's ours <laughs> you know he belongs to both of us <laughs> which oh, <laughs> oh, let what me get ah, incest yeah uh, you still look tempted to me even now yeah like on the on her he, wedding you, day? yeah he raped her on her wedding her day, day. Yeah. oh and we yeah. We got to see too much of it. Yeah, yeah. It's really gross. Yeah. And uh, so she's so she's like her, the whole thing, like trying to appeal to Tommy and like, you know, and apparently she doesn't like the people that uh, her uh, uh, kids are dating. Right. And there's, there's a whole another thing where she's just like, my family's leaving me. Yep. I'm going to be left alone with this whole fucking <laughs> <laughs> vineyard to run by myself because we have no help. Yeah. Well, yeah, and then uh, so um, and Roger and uh, well, Beth and uh, Vera are out. They're gonna go. They get no. They have to get ready for like half the movie to yeah. go to the party. <laughs> yes, and, and every yeah. time we cut back to these two, there one of them is naked in front of the other. Yeah, every single time they're always getting dressed, getting out of the shower. Every time, yeah. It's a choice. Well, you gotta love friends. <laughs> it's a choice. High school girls don't do that. No. Older okay, girls okay, don't okay, do that. No. Okay, keep that to yourself. No. <laughs> not gonna do it. It's not gonna do it. Don't spoil Sean, do you illusion. do that in I front of your friends at your age? Day. It's different. We're it's with girls. Yeah. It's, uh, they, don't spoil the so illusion of this. Uh, you do? Then? So you do? Yeah. So you're constantly naked in front of each other. No, yeah. it says you're in front it's of your... different where guys, we don't do that. Oh, well, no, neither do women. That's what we're saying. Don't ruin the carefully constructed illusion that this movie is Don't ruin the illusion that bad movies have said for I decades. Think, I think men have enough illusion. Yeah, we yeah, yeah. We don't need this right. to. You're yeah. right. Yeah. But, yeah. Moving okay. on. <laughs> yes. There is surprisingly okay, fine. a lot of we like... Shatter the illusion tonight. There's a lot of full frontal nudity in this movie. Truly. If it's your bag and uh, this is the movie. But I was kind of surprised actually by I that. Was. That it was just like gratuitous and like mm-hmm. all the fucking mm-hmm. time in scenes that were uh, sometimes very inappropriate. Mm-hmm. Um there's a strangulation scene that happens at some point in the, the, or with uh, the... Oh, the corset. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. That Where was weird. Pops out of her corset. Yeah. yeah. I'm like, okay. <laughs> so hard, her boobs popped out. <laughs> and yeah. then died. <laughs> yeah. yeah. That was uh, weird. That so was weird. we should say, yes, there are murders happening murders. in this movie because it is a slasher movie. Mm. Indeed. Indeed. Of some type. Indeed. So who dies first? Let's back it up. Where are we at with when we get okay. to Vera? Yeah. Bill dies first. <laughs> but, I mean, yeah. truly, Bill truly. dies first, yeah. but the yeah. effect is yeah. like he gets somebody hammers him in the back of his head and he yeah. slides down a, yes. a yeah. wall. I'm just saying that because a lot of this movie is spent at his grave. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. And just talking about him and yeah. crying over him. And yes. Mm-hmm. Who is the, uh, what does the killer appear as? What uh, what do we have here? Because this is masked slasher territory. Most of the time a devil with... Like a devil costume. Yeah, right, with, like but yeah. with chin horns? Yeah. yeah. Like mm-hmm. tusks? Tusks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. there's a devil with tusks. And a yeah. robe, right? Right, the, the red and black, black and robe. Red, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And have we seen Grandpa in this? We've seen Grandpa in a robe. Yeah, we didn't yeah. see him in the mask, I don't think. The mask kind of shows up sometimes yeah. because Gregory Scott Cummins has it at certain point. Yeah. Right. In his so, little closet of uh, whatever voodoo. Right, and he throws in his bag at one point, so yeah. suspicion mm-hmm. is thrown on. Like, uh-huh. yeah. Yep. Sure. He's up yeah. to no good. What He's really gone over to the dark side. Has mm-hmm. he? Mm-hmm. And he has a girlfriend who yes. looks a lot like Brigitte Nielsen. Yeah, from she's tall Beverly like her, too. Hills Cop yeah. 2. Mm-hmm. Yep, yep, um, yep. So what's her deal? Slash um, Rocky 4. It, and, uh, uh, fuck. Cobra. Well, yes, had, Cobra. I cannot remember any fucking movie tonight. Cobra. Didn't yes, she she's also in Cobra. Doing that one? She uh, yeah, I long, think so. Yeah. yeah, but it was long. That was when her and Stallone were actually 
yeah. banging. So yeah, that's what makes that movie fun. Go go listen to Cobra. Go watch. Just go, go, Cobra. Just go watch Cobra. Yeah, yeah. Cobra's great. Pizza scissors. Yeah. Um, yeah. <laughs> Pizza scissors. Stallone's making a big joke about a giant burger. It's yeah. All fun. It's all fun. Oh, you did it, ready. Yeah, I love that scene. Yeah. yeah I think uh, your French fries need a life raft. They're drowning. Yeah, they're, they're drowning there. And they could, yeah, because she puts like an insane amount of ketchup on those fries. Oh my god. I, oh, I need to rewatch movie. Cobra. Yeah. Yeah. Gregory awesome. Scott Cummins could have done a good job. I as good so. a job as Brian Thompson did yep. in that role. He should have been the cult leader yeah. in Cobra. He would have been good in that too. Mm-hmm. He would have yeah. clanged those axes together. Oh yeah, well, yeah. you know, interchangeable. Yeah. yeah, with Brian yep. Thompson. Yep. Mm-hmm. Um, Let's so, remake Cobra, guys. Let's do it. Just now with, all, <laughs> with everyone else is the same, but Gregory Scott Cummins is right, that's it. That's the only difference. That's yeah. it. It's like, yeah. why did you do this? Yeah. <laughs> we thought it'd be fun. Yeah. <laughs> only his fan club well, would come up with that idea. Well, you can do a deep fake, and you can probably do yeah. that. You can, there you go. Yeah, put him in there. Oh, okay, fine. Do it the easy way. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Um, so, uh, murders. So, murders. This, so this girl uh, works at a, uh, a pharmacy. No. No. No, Where she is, goes to a convenience store to get the she goes oh, to right. She's a rich girl. <laughs> and that's why everybody, uh, the other yeah. girls hate her. Who funded, she got funded by Satan, But she maybe? doesn't wear pants. She, right, she, yeah. Because no. we right. have to be able to see that she has a... a, a Pentagram a, tattoo on her ass. On her butt. Why yeah. couldn't it just be like a tramp stamp? That's why I don't understand. Mm. Harder to see... No, you just put her in a crop top, and then it, it's easier to see than a tattoo on your ass. She's got a it's tattoo on her ass. It's way easier to see a tattoo on her ass. Like, I think this is a tattoo on her ass, and they're like, we'll take that challenge. Yeah. She's wearing a bathing suit. Basically. Yeah, yeah. With yeah. Like a, but like a uh, motorcycle jacket over it. Yeah. 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 So what it looks look. like she should be wearing pants, but she's not. Yeah. Because yeah. yeah. then the next time we see her, she's swimming. Yeah. Yes. With yeah. The top in a sheer on. t-shirt. Yeah, with, a t- t-shirt. Right, with a t-shirt. Right. With a t-shirt. What is with that sheer, all about? Like, t- it's weird. Yeah. It's a weird choice. And then mm-hmm. she's got to go into the uh, the bathroom and take a shower. She goes into because the, there's a um, like pool, pool house. house. Yeah, yeah, a pool house with a direct access to a shower. Mm-hmm. She goes in there, showers and all that stuff. This is where we're getting more full frontal nudity. And mm-hmm. then um, this then, is our first instance yeah. of the uh, devil masked killer. Sorry. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he shows up yeah. at the door. Yes. And she thinks it's Tommy because, yes. I mean, why wouldn't you? It's a guy in a devil right. mask. But also, she wouldn't, uh, as we found out later in the movie, she would know. That the devil mask is a thing that Tommy might wear at a certain mm-hmm. point because she's part, as we learn later, it's not a tattoo; it's a brand on her ass. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. she would, so she would know this costume and think this is all normal, right? Yeah. And so she lets him in. The filmmakers clearly don't know that brands don't stay black. Well, the, yeah, like, it's a, it's a right, burn. Yeah. It's literally a burn scar. Right. Yeah, it would be, yeah. it would be like, scarring be, yeah. at that point. Yeah, yeah. It'd, be pain, it'd be painful as fuck. Yeah, be black. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, I know that uh, Grandpa like has a scene where he like pops out of nowhere, right? <laughs> Isn't that the one? Grandpa scene? just walks yeah. into frame at certain points. When they, like, yeah, when they come out of the convenience store with their alcohol. Yeah, yeah. And he's like, he's like, be fucking. He's like. You need your energy. For yeah. This okay. Later. That conversation. Hold on. We gotta talk about. But this. it was great because he was like just sitting there going like, "Yeah, my grandpa keeps on telling me this." And then all of a he's sudden, like, he "You're walks- right, I do." <laughs> he walks into frame like he summoned him by saying his name. <laughs> I think it was he wild. Did. Yeah. That man was not there so, ten seconds earlier. So Gregory Scott Cummins can't jizz because he needs to save up his jizz for this. He's got to save his essence. Like that to me sounds to, like that whole like sports theory about how before a big game you can jack yeah. off or whatever yes. is what it yeah. sounds exactly. like. Yeah. Exactly. Like, <laughs> you before be the like, okay, ceremony, all right. you have to keep it. Yeah. It's like, what are you doing here, Grandpa? I'm here buying I'm candles. Here to make sure you're not fucking. Yeah. <laughs> but he was there buying candles and something else for the at ceremony. At a convenience store. At a convenience yeah. store. Yeah, I love that there's no <laughs> no specialty like nope. Satanist no. show or pagan uh-huh. shop. No, they just go to the nearest fucking gas yeah. station. No, and I feel like he goes in and goes, we got a ritual tonight. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I need my candles. Where are the demon ones? <laughs> my blood like In the back. Thank you. Yeah. But she's not the like, started. I love yeah. it. It's great. It's great. The hand came into motion. This man never raises a hand, no. but I'll do it. <laughs> but like, the, just think about like the tackiness of like the home goods that are inside a gas station. Like they always have designs on them, like fucking pot leaves or eight balls or shit, right? Yep. So like, you know, these oh, candles are just design. like the worst, the worst thing you've ever seen being used for such a serious purpose, you know? <laughs> We had all, all had our dealings with eight balls at some point. I had an eight ball necklace back Yeah, in that's what I'm eight. saying. Like, that was my thing. I had pogs. Yeah. I mean, we all had pogs. Eight ball, <laughs> oh, yeah. My first, the eight ball slammer. My yeah. first weed grinder was an eight ball on fire. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. It was a flaming <laughs> eight ball. I don't know. Somebody had like a gear shifter that yeah, was an eight exactly. ball. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think yeah. my brother did, actually. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I know. I saw a lot of those. But. Yeah. Oh, my God. Um, uh, so, anyway, she's murdered. 
But how? Where? And by okay, so we're like, what? Who? With a hoe? Yeah. So yeah. Uh, Grandpa just told her off, and then shows up at her house, and uh, well, is it, uh, somebody shows up at her house. I don't know if it was Grandpa. Okay. We're supposed right. to think it's Grandpa. I think. Okay, but is it Grandpa, Sean? No, well, I mean, it's the devil. The, somebody in the devil. The, the hoe should have given it away. Yep. Yeah. Because we're like pitchfork. Oh, I mean, yeah, who I was hauling earlier? Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Oh. Who? I'm not going to say okay. who. Maybe we'll say that. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, she. So the gore effect here. A hoe is, for uh, a hoe. Is I'm sure she thought. Mm. Oh. 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 She chose that weapon purposely. She did. She, she did yeah. indeed. Yeah. She was sending a statement. Mm-hmm. So it's, it's a slash that no one will ever know. No. 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 Because <laughs> no. She'll, she'll know. She'll know. <laughs> She's we'll like, this is poetic, damn yeah, it. Yeah. <laughs> well, as it's for when you tell the police the story later. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> well, as a slasher movie, how's the gore? Um, there's not fake, bad. There's fake blood. Yeah, that's not bad. Yeah. I mean, they, well, they, a, this yeah, is one of those movies. Right earlier, there's some bleeding. Yeah, yeah. They show the, yeah. the not the impact of the weapon, but they show like, the weapon, the aftermath in yeah. the wound. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. There's usually aftermath. And yeah. Yeah. I didn't think it looked too bad. No, no, I thought pretty good. It's better than expected. Yeah. Yeah. Um. But that's great, the thing that elevates yeah. those Tom Savini. You actually see it going in, or you, there's an extra yeah, somebody's second. neck is yeah. separating at a certain point. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. Um, and so, uh, who's our next uh, next victim? Chris, the boyfriend. Oh yeah, because he decides to. Wa- okay, so then, all right. After she yeah. gets, after the the blonde gets murdered, then I think we take detours into yeah, the we're decorating. At, we're at the, the Halloween party decorating. Right, yeah. we're decorating the outside of the Halloween party. With, Grandpa with shows up to deliver his pumpkins, which is his job for the last 20 years, I yeah. feel. Yeah, but he never actually delivers pumpkins. Never, never. Yeah. It's the same pumpkin. I'm, I'm pretty he sure just, he, he would lift off a plastic covering of pumpkins, which are fake, and throw yeah. it to the side and have all his Satan <laughs> shit in the back. He just shows up to be creepy with his granddaughter. Basically, he's yeah. like, you've turned into the f- uh, fire of a voluptuous young a, woman. A tempting yes. woman. Yeah, attempt- yeah. Yes, a tempting yeah. woman. Oh, yeah, that was the meat, uh, the meat interesting. Don't the, say meat. The all boyfriend right. is like... Uh, meat interesting. He's I like, like the boyfriend comes like, is this guy bothering you? <laughs> right. No, this is my grandpa. This is creepy ass. And then he apologizes like, it's okay. Oh, it's the grandpa. That makes sense. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I hope I made a good first impression. Does it matter with this creep? Ugh. Yeah. And so they make out. Oh, and then they uh, eventually yeah. end up back at Vera's house. Mm-hmm. Uh, going at uh, it in her bedroom. Going at it in her bedroom. Uh, Tommy is there. Mm-hmm. Here's this. Bursts in because he's not a big fan of this. No. It's like, that's my sister, goddammit. Yeah. And so he's he, protecting her honor, right? Is sure. For, which is, yeah. who, which knew, I, who knew that was a thing he yep. was going to yeah. do? But I mean, to be fair, this is like kind of the most normal thing anyone in this family does. <laughs> True. Right. <laughs> right. Like, this is the most understandable yeah. thing. Yeah. Like probably. later on, even the sisters like talking about like, hey, I heard you did it with my brother. Like, it's really weird. <laughs> right. Oh, that was the greatest, that had the greatest payoff, though. Really weird. She's like, yeah, where, where'd you do it? Cut to right there in the graveyard. <laughs> oh, yes. like, um, uh, weird. <laughs> weird. <laughs> Only because I understand that they have to walk through the graveyard to get wherever they're going throughout the movie. Yeah. No matter where they're going, they have to walk through the graveyard. But odd cut, but also great cut. Yeah. <laughs> Just like, Very strange. Right we had sex. Yes. The, On top of, uh, you know. Well, yeah. I'll ask later. Well, because uh, yeah. uh, Brian, right, thrown out by of the, the bedroom mm-hmm. by Right, uh, he, by his hair, yeah. Which, yeah, like, Cummins throws him out. This... This scene felt very out of place with like everything we know about these characters, which like is not a lot, granted. But mm-hmm. like, you wouldn't think well, he'd why? Care why would he give a shit? Care. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, Tommy wouldn't care. He's I a bad boy. I feel like this was. They felt like they needed this scene to link it later on. Yeah, Probably. exactly. Yeah, because yeah. yeah. he can't. You don't want him. He has to show some love for his sister at one point to yes. make sense later. Right. Yes. Yeah, I agree. Crafty screenwriters. Cole uh, Crafty. Folks. Crafty's Burford? generous. <laughs> or whoever it was. Yeah, Burford. What was the last name? Burford oh, Hauser. Burford, Burford, Burford Hauser, which is a yeah. fake name. I, I, so looked, it? I looked it up. It's a fake name. Who it's wrote a good it? fake name. Yeah, yeah, right. uh, that's great. I don't remember his name, but a guy who legitimately wrote screenplays. But forever, he's, in, he, he's like, Burford. it's going to be Burford. For this <laughs> 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 I've seen the movie. Can we change yeah. this to Burford? That is the best <laughs> fake name yeah. I love it. That's not bad. Burford. We love a Burford. Well, if your um, name is Burford, please write in. Oh, please do. <laughs> yeah, we, we will, need to hear from more Burfords. Well, we'll, we'll give you a, I'll back. give you a segment on this show. If your name is Burford, and you write in. <laughs> Burford House. Burford's Corner. Sounds like Buford Pusser, right? Yeah, it really the, does. <laughs> yeah. Um, Buford. So, but there's like a chase scene uh, where Brian is, goes through, walking through the cemetery of broad daylight. Well, a lot this of broad is still daylight the, there's stuff. A, yeah, apparently the cemetery is between their house and everything else in town. Yes. Yeah. yeah. So everybody has to hike through there. There's, he's running and he runs right into an open 
open grave. He's and, running around. Right. And there's still body parts or skeletons. Yeah, it's a weird. It's a weird skeletal thing. remains. Yeah, yeah, it's weird. It's just. Like, it's like wow. I mean, I, I think purposefully done by the filmmakers just to make it creepier. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Whether it made sense or not, didn't no. it? No. But he falls in there and uh, freaks out, and he's uh, um, someone in the devil costume comes again, and he's got a shovel, and he's like, help me! And it's one of those moments where, you know, they raise the shovel to kill them, and he stands there waiting for it, screaming, mm-hmm. and then he gets it sliced into his head. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Again, not good bad. by that guy. Yeah, pretty decent head wound. It's a, a good head out. wound. Yeah. Again, we see a lot of good pretty, aftermath. Pretty decent. Yeah. yeah. So if I'm correct, somewhere around here we're like, uh, then the uh, night falls finally because like this whole movie's yeah. been taking place on the day in Halloween, yes. and then finally we're at the party. So, uh, well, I don't know if our characters are there yet, but we see the party. Vera and her friend and Beth just don't show up until like the party's almost over. Yeah. Even though they're the the they like, like are the committee, yeah. yeah, basically. But the party is going on. We see a lot of people. Roger is there because he's the cop guarding the party. Well, he's not there right away, right? Because he is uh, off with Beth. They're buying passion fruit. Uh, Beth is very horny and they just they, wants they to get put with the him passion like, fruit line in there just to put in passion as a yeah, yeah. weird. Yeah. That's weird. It's weird. Yeah. Everything's weird. It's Everything's all weird. weird. Everything's it's all weird. fucking <laughs> weird. Yeah. Yeah. And but no, this this is a, this is a hopping party. Like, let's be real. There's a stripper. There's, there's a, a belly full... dancer with snakes. There is a comedian trying out his next his next this act. Was... And I fucking oh. hated it. I was great I was... slash horrible. No, I was triggered by this because have you guys never been held hostage at a party like this by somebody who thinks they're <laughs> either they're funny or they're playing music yes. or they're do- doing something to get the attention on them? Yeah, why. it is usually a Halloween. Party. <laughs> it's weird, right? yeah, yeah. It's usually a yeah. Halloween party. <laughs> I hate being held hostage like this in public. It, it's, it's the just, worst fucking so, thing. But it is it is a moment where they stop the movie. You're like, I did and not give, buy a ticket for this. No. And give a comedian, because yeah. he is a that for his livelihood, he is a comedian. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. And they give him not a tight five, but a really <laughs> shitty <laughs> three. Yeah. Yeah. And but this guy doesn't really know bad. shit because he doesn't even rule if three is his own joke. He does two punchlines and then moves to a new joke entirely. What it's, the fuck? And the jokes are so They're bad. So bad. bad. One, oh, my for God. For a full minute, he's doing an impression of a turkey. Yeah. And it's he spits so feathers. Bad. <laughs> it's so bad. And he's got to do a whole thing. It's just. And it's not. It's just not funny. No, like, it's, no, not, it's funny. not. Not at all. It yeah. is fucking bizarre. Like, but they're the laughing like, like it's w- funny. Yeah. Right. And I hate that. Acting. Yeah. I'm like, that's yeah. not funny. Yeah. Oh. Um, did well, you? Oh, that reminds me. Did you guys ever see that clip going around? It was like maybe last summer or something, where like the projector at a movie theater broke, and some lady went on stage and did like comedy for like twenty minutes to entertain no. people until they fixed it. <laughs> it's the worst fucking thing you've ever seen. No. And I just would have like, I know if any one of us were in that crowd, would have just got up and left the moment that they said the projector broke. But people sat there and like laughed at her and like. Fed her ego about it. I'm gonna have to send you guys this. It's yeah, bad. This. It's bad. Yeah, like you gotta have some like, balls. Yeah, to, get it's, up there and do to that. take that upon yourself to be like, guys, don't worry. I'm gonna save this situation by that comedy. Was something, like no I, asked for. I, that was she was waiting. Like she's yes. been waiting for that her whole life. I'd be like, exactly. No, I want a refund and damages. Yeah, right. exactly. Yeah. I'm suing. Yeah. I may sue. Yeah. Yes. Yes. yeah, Like this guy. Yeah, because yeah. he's basically got the same that same kind of energy. Yeah, and it's just strange that it just plays for as long as it does. Right. That, that I mean, would but just then feature it, him. But the the band thing and the comedy thing kind of feel similar to me. That, anyway. that it's like we're just gonna stop the movie and, and have this. like a vignette where you're gonna have like a full song. Yeah, give um, us a couple minutes. Uh, Roger and Beth do have sex in the the graveyard, and yep. then, but they're apparently doing it on uh, Brian's corpse, but they don't know that. That's why we got to come back they grab to it hands later. Of the, of the oh, corpse. your hand is so cold. It'll warm up in a moment. Yep. While there's two hands on her yeah, ass. There's yeah, there's two hands on her. Like if she did math real quick, she <laughs> yes. freaked out. Yep. Um. But uh, so eventually they make their way to the party. Everybody's getting to the party, but there's a girl in the party. That is uh, murdered in the uh, the bathroom because I think right mm-hmm. I think it's because she expressed an interest in 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 Roger. Oh yeah, yeah. Okay, that's, a, that's absolutely why. All right. Yeah. Well, I then that so. means that we must be closing in on who the killer is. Mm-hmm. But so where this, this, where this woman? She was so delusional. Well, this woman. She was, she's, she was yeah. just like, do you want to dance? And he's like, no. And she was and like, I've got my eye on you. So she's like mm. eyeing him the rest of the party. Like, and she's like, an, it feels like one of the moms. 
from everyone high school. in this movie is so much older than what so much playing. older than, yeah, than like, what they're playing. How old is she? Yeah. You know? Right, she is one of the moms who's just like, I dress up and I'm the cool mom and I yeah. go to the kids stuff and I'm yeah, and so she hangs out at the party like she's one of the kids, mm-hmm. and then she's just hitting on she she's fucked a couple kids. I'm gonna guarantee it. <laughs> Well, to be fair, she was uh, hitting on the cop, so maybe they're the same age. Hanging right. out the but kids, she also the thought party. he was. A but there's a stripper costume. at this party. It's a stripper at this party. It's the one who got branded earlier. There was a, there. Mm-hmm. Were, uh, there are cut-ins of more uh, satanic rituals at this. Yeah, point. because what mm-hmm. is Grandpa doing? I mean, like we're all over the fucking map. All over. Just yeah. trying all to like place. what the hell we're doing? Everything is going on in this mm-hmm. movie. But Gregory yeah. Scott Cummins disappears for a good twenty-five minutes. Yeah, yeah. but we know that he's preparing for his ritual at night. By not fucking. Yeah. Yeah. He's and <laughs> he's yeah. just in a corner going, Don't don't do it. Don't do it. <laughs> he's no, he's lifting weights with his bandana. He on. <laughs> there are some great cut to moments in this yeah. as we're talking about great, you know, it's cut bizarre. to we fucked over there. Cut to <laughs> aggressive, you know weightlifting. Weightlifting. There's I wonder what he's doing right stuff. now. Yes. What? <laughs> Which yeah. could have been it's always sunny scene. It yeah, my God, Ed, this sure. is like because most of the time Max Dad is in prison on the show. So yep. when you cut to him, it's always cuts like this in in yeah. the show. He's so. like working out in prison yep. and stuff. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I know he does pull ups in a scene. So that scene yes. in this movie where he was doing pull ups, I was like, oh <laughs> yeah. God, wow, this like, really is the this. same. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. And well, then they what? keep cutting back to the band at the party. Yep, yep, band yeah. at the party, yeah. the mercenaries, Devil Son. No, that wasn't no, the devil's song. Oh, the, the, yeah. oh, the other like one. You yeah. can't do anything. I don't know. It's a, it I was another remember, song. It's yeah. catchy. It feels of the yeah. era. Yeah. It was like a very 80s, but I liked it. Um, but we keep cutting to the barn where mm-hmm. the ritual is beginning, right? Where yeah. uh, Grandpa mm. in full regalia, kind of like you reminded me <laughs> full of... Full regalia uh, plus a nice plaid nice, shirt. Yeah. Jeans, and I'm pretty sure he had a key ring <laughs> attached to his belt. Well, belt. we're saying that's funny because he's got like a cloak and the makeup on and yeah. you know whatever. He's doing the devil horns. There's a lot of devil horn greeting. A lot, in this, of, uh, by hand, a lot of devil yeah. horn greeting. Yeah, it's very uh, uh, there's, there's elaborate. A, there's a, it's like they're kissing with devil horns, and mm-hmm. they use yep. the pentagram. Mm-hmm. Movie. It's, yeah, yeah, that's his thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, yeah, they have to. They bring a woman into. Well, no, the, yeah, for, it's not like a sacrifice. They do this whole like share the blood thing. Yeah, where she the, was, the, she was the blood a new the member power. being inducted blood. into this cult. Yes, yeah. and we've never seen her before. And I'm like, is that one of the sisters? Like, no. who is this? Is no. like, random woman? It's a new member. It's a new member. There are member. There are more members of this cult that we know nothing. about. And then about. later on, she's the stripper at the party. But I don't think it's supposed to be the same girl. No. I, yeah, I don't think so either. I think it, I don't think it is. I think it's just they needed. Different an, they like needed. Different yeah, I think they just needed another naked girl. I did. So they reused her. I don't think they ever. Her. She had a mask on at the uh, when she was a stripper. Because right. I, I never saw her ass, so I didn't. Yeah, right. They didn't see her ass. Yeah, but those tan lines were like aggressive. Yeah, they really were. Those were the same boobs. Yeah, that's like a that's like it's like fifties model with just the tan. Yep. Yeah, 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 and that's where we realize that the tattoo on the ass is not a tattoo after all; it's a brand, right? right? Even though it, it disappears a little bit on the earlier woman's ass because mm-hmm. we're like, she's in the pool. Ah, let's <laughs> that sharpie's gonna she come gets out, and it's faded. Yeah, yeah. it's like eh, they don't do that. Again, Tattoos don't fade; neither like, do brands. Again, shouldn't be black, mm-hmm. <laughs> right? Yeah, should be a little pink. Like should be her pink. getting out of the pool made more sense the way it looked because it wasn't black. It was still gray. It's, it wasn't good. Let's just put it that way. <laughs> but we were we were we were studying to find out because we knew it was going to be exactly, yes. Um So what what happens right. next at the party? So, the yeah. girl What's is the killed doing? in the bathroom. Mom is uh plant. She's putting up a uh, bill. Crying in a grave. She's yeah. Yeah. <laughs> she yep. went to cry at the oh, grave. Oh, he's crying. She, she cried. Crying. She cried when she put the wreath up. She cried at the grave. She tried. She tried to reason with Tommy at one point. She's crying yeah. at the door. She cried. <laughs> at her daughter and told her to go visit her dad's grave today. Yeah, not right. Yeah, because she scared her. Yeah, mm-hmm. like go visit your dad's grave. There was there. one scene uh, that she reappeared at the house and had like dried mud on her face and right. her daughter's after, like after a murder. Yeah. yeah, yeah. After the grave murder, I think. Yeah. Yes. yeah. Mom, what yes. have you been doing? Did you fall? I've been like, working. Someone's got to take care of this farm. She's what she was working the land. Apparently, yeah. she's got to go clean up. Um, well, you may astute listeners uh, kind of catch. Or drift where we're, well no we're not even there yet so no, no. so yeah. uh now that they the girls are getting ready for the halloween party constantly and, yeah and that's when she that's the part where she was like where'd you guys do it and she, they cut to right there right. in the grave yeah. and but then we find uh brian's body brian's body 
which right. was Vera's boyfriend. So she freaks yeah. out and she's like, she's it like, was It was like, Tommy. Yeah. I know Tommy did it. Right. I'm going to go find him. I know where he is. Because they he's all in know the he's, he's into Satanism. Yeah. So right. like, yeah, at a certain point, Tommy just grabs his little brother, Roger, and shows him his Satan closet. Yeah. yeah. This is what I've been into. He's got jars of shit. There's a baby in there. Mm-hmm. And then you know, the pentagrams <laughs> yeah. and candles and Satan and, and all that stuff. let's be real. Looking back on it, this was a cry for help. <laughs> it, yes. Right? Yes. Like, yes. What 100%. it is now, help 100%. me before this gets out of hand. Yes. 100%. Yep. You're the law and my brother. Help me. Right. <laughs> help me. Help me. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, uh, he's going to have his night where he's going to he's going to realize his power and his strength, Grandpa says. Um, Meanwhile, Vera is making her way to that barn to confront Tommy because she thinks he killed. Right. Yep, but mm-hmm. what happens when she gets there? Because everybody's all, uh, he, she's interrupting the ceremony, and yeah. you don't do that. No, classic you, grandpa, you shouldn't have come. Yeah, yeah, and you don't interrupt a satanic ceremony. You and do now you if you do, pay. you become part of it. Yep. Mm-hmm. So they string her up, and uh, Tommy's given a sacrificial dagger. Yep, the blood mm-hmm. is the power. Mm-hmm. The power is the blood. Was it a sacrificial dagger? It was. Yeah. Okay, yeah. that one was. Ceremony. And. Uh, yeah. And and has to stab his sister. But this is the shocking twist of the movie. Mm, one of them. What happens? He cuts her loose instead of stabbing her. He's like, that's dun, my dun, sister! Uh, this is like the most character development that this guy's had. Like the, It was like, oh, and this, and this was the reason for the throwing out the boyfriend earlier. To show that he loves her. Yeah. Yes, he does love his sister. I like where you go with in. that. There you go. Thank you. Yeah. He does love his sister. Fuck his brother. He Burford. loves his sister. Burford. Burford uh, Good job, Burford. Yep. Um... And so then he flees into the night with the sister. And we're like, well, well he can't he, be. The sister flees. Yeah, she's with, a, he's like, run, get out of here. And she goes back to her friend. Oh, and right. They go to the party. Yeah, they go to the yeah. party. Because that's where you go after. Because they're going to go find Roger the law, right? Yeah. Yeah. He's going to be so upset when he finds out, you know. Yeah. Um, Roger the law. Uh, copyright 2023 Saturday Night Freak Show. <laughs> and uh, Take Grandpa. Take it any way you'd like. <laughs> Grandpa is like, nah, I'm so disappointed. I know what I have to do. Yes, he's decided mm-hmm. what he has to do now. Mm-hmm. Which is... Go to a party. People. Yeah, they're yeah. going to go to the party. This is where this is all going to end yeah. up. Yeah. So, if you're not having a party in a horror movie, what are you doing? I think so. Yeah. Mm. Probably with... you got to be singing something. Yeah. Everybody's yeah. got something to do. Everybody, Everybody, Everybody but you. you. Oh, you guys. <laughs> <laughs> what, those Horror Express, right? Uh, or the other one. The Night other train, train to Terror. Night Train to Terror. Train terror. Yeah. Yeah. Too many we'll, horror we'll, train we'll movies. We'll never yes, get it right. I'll never get it right. Never get it right. Um, so, the Grandpa party. shows yeah. up at mm-hmm. the party. Well, the girls get to the party. Yes. They find Roger, and they're going to tell him what's up. Mm-hmm. And in the meantime, someone walks by and says, Vera, you look awful. She's you like, look like oh, hell. Well, I better fix my face. Right. And Beth volunteers to fix her face for her. Yes. So they take a girl's trip to the bathroom. Where they find our previously yeah. uh, corseted, strangled woman yeah. from before. Who's the older woman. Dead body is in the corner, like eyes wide open, pale as fuck. <laughs> right. And they're just like, some people can't handle their puns. You said, <laughs> you've, never, you've never been to one of those parties? <laughs> Where there's a oh, corpse? Yeah. No, <laughs> never. Okay, course, all right. But... I'm, just, I'm, I'm just checking the room, okay. Holly. <laughs> uh, well, Beth should have paid more attention. She's ended up left in the bathroom, and she's like, yeah, didn't she go to? She went to the closet. Like, yeah, to coat, yeah. They coat go away. to hang up their coats in the bathroom because that's where the coat closet. Weird, is. weird, weird, yeah. Yep. weird. And it turns out that the killer is still in there, and the killer comes out and kills Beth, which I was very disappointed by because Beth, I actually liked of everybody yeah. who's in this movie. Yeah, I, I like Beth. <laughs> yeah, she's all right. Yeah, yeah. yeah. and yeah, she's interesting. At least she had thoughts and you know, motivations and mm-hmm. passions and shit. Yeah, they were you know blatant as all. She hell, wasn't but, part of the weird ass family. Yeah. yeah. Even though she uh, really wanted to be, it feels like. <laughs> I mean, or at least Roger. Uh-huh. Yep, but she's dead. She's hanging in the closet. Yeah, um, I like. It's interesting how they did this. I always find it interesting when they when they show different halves of the body hanging. Oh, like, yeah. The feet are just swaying a little bit, but the body is is you know just standing there. But they figure out a way to sway them. Yeah, so yeah. It looks like they're hanging because they always have to hang you by your uh, your your waist yeah. right in a harness. Mm-hmm. But <laughs> yeah, oh yeah, always. It, 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 the, the illusion is supposed to be you're hung by your neck. Yes, and, and it never they didn't pull it off in this one. Mm-hmm. Though. Not many people do. Yeah. I've seen movies with budgets in like the you know yeah. the hundred, tens and hundreds of millions. Not a lot of people get it right. 
Mm-hmm. The weight of where you're hanging from. Because yeah. it always looks like they're hanging from a harness from the back right. and not their goddamn neck. The only other example I can think of that really does it well is, and just because it's such a major part of it, but Ballad of Buster Scruggs oh, gets yeah. it, but that's the yeah. entire story, so they kind of have to get it right, right. for that segment. You know? Yeah, you have to. And mm-hmm. I, I, yeah, I've seen so many people drop to get hung, and right. it's just like, oh, it pulled up from the back, or it went too slow, yeah. or someone's mm-hmm. neck didn't break. Mm-hmm. I'm sorry, I, I'm looking at the intricacies of people getting <laughs> right. hung by their neck and it being wrong, but I I see it so much, and I'm just like, the weight distribution is not right. Get it right. Yeah. Did you guys know, I just learned this this week, did you guys know Daniel Radcliffe's stunt double got paralyzed doing a f- stunt for him for oh, Harry no. Potter? No. Shut up. Yeah, no. like, it was in the last movie, so uh, almost damn. made it out of the almost franchise. And Shit. um, it was one where, like, you know, they do the magic blast and they go flying backwards. Yeah. Yeah. He flew into a wall and hit the wall and it <gasps> paralyzed him. Oh, yeah. Man. And I was like, why did we never hear about this? Like, that's awful. Uh, yeah, pro- like, probably, I, probably part of the lawsuit. Yeah. Like, yeah. We can talk about yeah. it, but he gets millions of dollars. Right, right. Also paralyzed the rest of his yeah, life. exactly. Know, they said from the chest down he's paralyzed. And I was Ugh. like, fuck, yeah. that sucks. That's yeah, awful. no, you pay yeah. that man millions of dollars. Yeah, yeah. I wonder if they kept that in the movie or cut it out, right? Well, yeah. Yeah. yeah, you yeah. always feel like they have to cut that out. Yeah, right? you actually. would think so, unless it was the really good take. But that's a, oh, <laughs> okay. Sorry. But if I was an actor. Use the one where I got paralyzed. I'd be like, yeah, I right. gave my life for this. Right. Yeah. Use the good one. Yeah. Right. Use yeah. the one like yeah. whether it like use that one. Use that one. Even if it doesn't look good, you're using that. One. I use put my life one. on the line. Use the fucking one where it actually happened. Yeah. Agreed. That's what I would want. Unless yeah. it's evidence. That takes uh, evidence. Yeah, that's, that's true. Right. That's Courts, true. Yeah. 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 True, yeah. True, 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 true. Um but then uh so the uh the masked killer then follows Vera out of the bathroom and mm-hmm. confronts Another mass killer dressed the exact same way. We're like, oh no, who's oh, this? I thought he was because Grandpa shows up. Yeah, and like, Grandpa. Wait, I thought that, but then he wasn't had the that Grandpa, the thing? Grandpa, he had the mask on. Yeah, yeah. Because I thought yeah. they were both they fighting both, with. They the, both had the thing on. Yeah, yeah. but yeah. Grandpa looks a little more like Grandpa than the yeah, other well, killer. He's wearing the yeah. plaid. Right, yeah. but he also walks a little bit more like Grandpa and everything. So we're like, what the fuck is What's happening, happening here? Who's the other killer? Yeah, What's going but we're on? like, I mean, okay. we figured it out, but Grandpa has shown up at the party to kill Tommy. And he thinks Tommy is in the costume. Yes. yes. And so the two, the two of them have a sword fight up the stairs. Truly, it's ho versus sword. Swashbuckling thrills. It's not okay. You, you can say that. that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It wasn't that good. It's ho and pitchfork. Yeah. How is it? It's ho and pitchfork. I thought he had like a, a more of a sword he, yeah, type I thought thing. He had a it was sword. a sword. I thought so. I, uh, a scimitar. Again, I maybe. don't know where it came from, but it was a sword. Okay. Yeah. They I filmed this in the okay. U.S., right? There was a guy yeah. at the back of the the uh, the party who was in like full like it was like an Indian robe. And I'm like he the uh, Jag uh, really liked to cast um, Indian actors and everything. There's one yeah. deputy who comes in later when the sheriff and mm-hmm. Roger are are investing in the bar, and he's an Indian actor. Doesn't say a word, so I don't know mm-hmm. if he does speak English, uh-huh. but he does like to to fill his extra roles with Indian actors. Okay. So that's part of it. That's also, I think, where where um yeah the belly dancer the belly dancers yeah. and the snake dance and all that stuff yeah. comes from as well. The tradition to following. Yeah, exactly. Well, she does have a snake. I mean, snakes are scary. Yes, um, they are. Sure, <laughs> agreed. So, uh, so uh, Grandpa gets uh, gets a, a pitchfork or whatever. He really something. And he dies. He's dead. And we're like, what? But not before he Roger is just like Grandpa. What's going on? And he and then <laughs> Grandpa is just like. The blood is the power, and right on the forehead with the devil horns on the yep. forehead. Yeah. There's just a little red mark on his head, and like <gasps> mm-hmm. maybe that'll come back. Who knows? Maybe later. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. We'll see. We'll see. Because Rogers, the goody two shoes of the family, he is the, the upstanding arm of the law. <laughs> but yes. I did, I did enjoy the part where. Um, they're walking through the cemetery, Roger and I can't remember her name. And they're walking, yes, they're walking through the cemetery, and those kids are out looking for candy yeah. they dropped. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and she says, He That's was going to shoot. Like Beth. She said, He was going to shoot you all. And I was With like, excitement <laughs> on her face and yeah. in her voice. And I was like, well, That's She's why not I wrong like about Beth. this. Right, yeah, 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 yeah. He was going to kill you. Get out of here, you little scamps. Yeah. Right. All right. Yeah. Now I remember why I like Beth. Yeah. <laughs> that part was great. Yeah, she's good. Yeah. 
She's like, oh, she's like, I love this. Knife. Yeah, <laughs> this is great. But Roger is able to shoot the the killer. Tommy, yeah. damn it, he shoots at the the. Uh, oh, as the, the other killer is leaving, yeah, shoots in the shoulder in the back. Yeah, and then the killer now par- almost not paralyzed, but no, nope. dying, no. stumbling, walks, Stum- stumbles all the way to right, Bill's a grave. Five yeah. minutes, <laughs> five minutes yes. of going through a the stumbling. woods with the music blasting is like, oh no, this is a horrible right. end. It's for- like the actual walk to the. Grave of Bill, yeah. where she collapses. It's it the mom. Turns out, surprise, yep. shocker. She moves her her hat, and, and then uh, her the twelve owner. feet of hair falls right. down. And that's yes. how we know it's her because yeah. of the twelve feet of hair yeah. unravels. Yeah. So, what's her motivation? And who are the victims? Why did she kill them? To keep her family together. Yeah, these are all, all these people. The all these influences are coming in and trying mm-hmm. to take her family from her, and she's not going to have it. She got her husband taken from her. Mm-hmm. She will not have her family taken from her. From Satanists or from horny teenagers, mm-hmm. yep. it mm-hmm. will not happen. It really is like Butcher Baker, Nightmare Maker. Yeah, there it is a lot of similarities. Of yeah. Yes. yeah. Yep. Yeah. And so she collapses on the grave, but then Tommy comes back into the picture, mm-hmm. uh, consoles his mom as she dies on the grave. Because he's had a total. Because he, he's done. Character change yes. now. Yeah. yeah. And he's, he crosses himself. I was like, now he's a Catholic. <laughs> right. Yeah. He, right, he really is. Because she dies and he crosses himself right there. And then that's done. Mm-hmm. But then the movie's oh, not over because no. uh, cut back to the ceremonial barn and all the candles. Why are is there a ceremony the... still going on? There's a new head. <gasps> what's of happening? What's going Who on? could it Someone be? Someone in the cloaked figure. We z- we we slowly zoom in. They turn around and Roger. The blood is the power. The blood is the power. Well, dun, 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 we are welcome to the night. Oh yeah, that was it. Welcome yeah. to the night. Welcome <laughs> to the night. <laughs> welcome yeah. to the night. Mm-hmm. yeah. Should have been the blood is the power. Yeah. Yeah. Power of night. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> That's critters, right? That is critters. critters. Yeah, yeah. But no, we get a reprise of Devil uh, Sun. The Devil yeah, Sun. Yeah, yeah. Rightfully so. By DC LaCroix. DC LaCroix. Yeah. Yep. And the curtain Le comes Croix. down. DC LaCroix. <laughs> And that was the end. Of That's the that's proper uh, French Canadian. So, quick question: um, When was the um, hacking of the pumpkin? The hack lantern. Hacking of the lantern. Yeah. Mm. When was the yeah, hack lantern? <laughs> yeah. Oh, Igor, you're very, you're very disturbed by this. You're like, yeah. I was promised a hack o' lantern. The hacking of the lantern was at the very beginning. Oh, when where he the cut child his, was just yeah, yeah. Cut his that finger. was an exciting incident. And I really thought because he gets cut and bleeds all over, I'm like, is that pumpkin going to grow into a pumpkin demon? Because I was like, this is it? some ceremonial thing yeah, right. happening. Yeah. yeah, he bled on a pumpkin. And he now, has the special blood. Or that's something. what I was yeah. hoping for. Yeah. <laughs> we'll find out. Back later. Well, I just, you'll have to go we'll back find to out how Holly for felt that. about what she got yeah. rather than what she was hoping for, mm-hmm, uh, mm-hmm. because we've come to the end of our movie. Mm-hmm. All right. Well, that means uh, we're going to tell you what we thought of it. But first, that's right. Stick around. Oh, yeah. But first, we're going to summon our mailman to read some of your mail, and his name is Igor. Bring us the mail. Masters, masters, the mail. I've got the mail. So many letters. Our followers are rising, rising. Why, thank you, Igor. I feel like he's got a little devil cape, and he's probably got the little closet, the Satanist closet, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. He's got something like that. Oh, yeah. He's got he's, an he altar or something. Altars, yes, yeah. he has altars to pray at. Yeah. Um, devil- some of them are for yeah. us. Yeah. Like, oh, yeah, do we each have, have one? I think we each have yeah, one. Yeah, we cool. do. I want to see mine. He's the devil's right? nephew. Right? Yeah. I want to know what the... You may be I don't think out. you're allowed to look at it, right? right? You may be no. a little freaked out because he's collected things from us. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Years, so. yeah anything that's gone missing over right. the past yeah. 10 years. anything missing yeah. over the past whatever yeah. years. He's, he's the devil's nephew twice removed. <laughs> <laughs> Is it spells or protection? Is he out to get us... Maybe he's keeping us alive. Maybe. True. I mean, he. Yeah. yeah I would. I'm gonna I mean, go with alive. Yeah. Dude, just let it go. <laughs> <laughs> You've done the you best okay? you could. Yeah. I'm fine. Let's yeah. get on. With like, it. let's. All right. We, we, all right. We don't need you. <laughs> all right. Well, thank you, Igor. We should remind the good folks at home how they can participate on this interactive portion of our show by following along on Facebook. facebookcom slash free show. No pens. Or they can follow along on X. At Sat Freak Show. Or you can email us. Sat Freak Show at Yahoo.com. Or you can follow along on Instagram or threads at <laughs> Sat Freak Show. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. About tonight's movie, Hack O' Lantern, Scraw 793. Scraw. He writes in and says, <laughs> Why? Why in the pumpkin picking hells would you subject yourselves to this? For the title alone. <laughs> 
There's the answer. <laughs> there you go. Dom Cree writes in and says, Dom! Guys, who do I have to blame for this abomination? I bet it's Colin. Wow. Wow. Oh, Sean. Wow. Yeah. He's like, we used to be boys. Uh, Why yeah. did you shocking dark me? Yeah. That's right. Uh, who? Uh, Dom, Dom is a troll. Dom just likes to poke. <laughs> Dom, who brought Shocking Dark? Dom Sean. brought Shocking Dark. Oh, that's right. <laughs> Dom brought Shocking Dark. Well, he says the best thing about this trash is the title, which I'm surprised hasn't been used by a better film. At least there was right? one example of hot 80s hair that held some promise here, but not enough to make me not enough to make me make my life more any more miserable than it is by already <laughs> subjecting myself to this in the entirety of this abomination. Dom, that's, you've wow, watched worse. That's great. Come on. Well, he gave it negative five. Not sure if it's intentionally Dom. funny or actually naively serious malicious laughs out of <laughs> I, don't, wow. I don't believe Dom's watched it. I'm going to call him out on this bullshit. I, well, he says oh. it. He, he Do you need stopped. to start more feuds, Sean? You've yeah. got enough going. I feel like I haven't had a good feud in a while. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I feel like Looking I'm for a sparring well. partner. Fuck you, Larry Black. Uh, Jimbo Ice says you covered the Grand Budapest, Budapest Hotel before Hack O' Lantern from the hammy performances to the trashy time. nudity and over the top satanic panic it sure screams Saturday Night Freak Show <laughs> like don't worry those those people are gone yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was Indeed. like well, it wasn't that was must have that was, really predated uh, me that was before yeah. us yeah. Yeah. Time for all of us. that was before us yeah. uh, Travis Legler says I've never heard of this movie could this be a new 80s horror gem to discover could I started it? to look it up but I found this movie doesn't even have its own Wikipedia page it doesn't however it Whoa. seems this movie was featured on the People's Court and the last drive-in with Joe Bob Briggs so if it's good enough for Joe Bob it's good enough for me. If it's good enough for the people's court. Um, <laughs> I'm surprised I'm surprised it didn't get a wiki after Joe Bob. Why? Yeah. Maybe we should make it. There you go. Maybe we go for make it. it. <laughs> it's probably letterboxed. All the reviews. Oh, yeah. I, I clicked on the letterbox. letterbox and it's there. Uh, last week, we watched a movie called House of a Thousand Corpses. Michael Whitaker writes in and says Rob Zombie also provided the voice for one Dr. Curtis Connors, a.k.a. the Lizard, in an early 2000s Spider-Man cartoon show that aired on MTV. Cool. Interesting. Hmm. Huh. Interesting. Trivia. I'd watch that. Uh, Joey Blythe says, I remember not being too crazy about this at first. Maybe it was in the wrong atmosphere, but coming back to it after the devil's rejects, I love it. I had a group of friends and we called ourselves the serial killers, serial like the morning. Yeah. Yep. Sure. And we would watch horror movies like this. And I live in Alabama and Freebird is kind of a joke because <laughs> it gets played so much. It was played in my high school talent show and all the teachers left because it was so loud and lasted so long. So that was fun. <laughs> but I'm um, only OK hearing it. In the Devil's Rejects. Mm -hmm. There you go. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that is the ending song. It's like, yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, Kryptonian Orphan says, hear me out. A new reality series where Rob Zombie, Eli Roth, and Uwe Boll get dropped off in a deserted island with only film equipment. The one that makes the best movie gets a chance to leave. The twist, their cameras are empty as their storylines. Cannibalism ensues. Oh, I love it. Oh, my I God. Let's love do that. it. Let's oh, do I love it. that. The great it. twist. That's, That's a burn. And you know what's funny? All, three, all those movies would be terrible. The only Every cameras single rolling back. are the uh, reality show cameras <laughs> yes, watching them yes. eat each other. Fantastic. Oh, my God. Well, especially because Rob Zombie and Eli are all their friends, so you know they'd turn on each other really quickly, and I want to see <laughs> that. Or maybe they team up to eat the other guy. Yeah, but yeah, but then they're but they're going to eventually have to turn on each other. Oh, yeah. They'd be going They'd be going after Uva Bowl. that's great. Willie, you... Um, House of Rejects uh, writes in because we said in uh, our uh, social media posts about Sid Haig and House mm. of a Thousand Corpses that mm, it nope. rejuvenated his career. House of Rejects says it gave a, a career boost nothing. Dude's career was dead. He had officially retired. House full out revived his career and for good reason. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. There you go. There you go. He was one of my favorite people to meet at conventions because he was so normal about it. Dude does not have a handler. Like, no one helps him. It's just him. You give him... He t it, first of all, it was $20 for everything. Up until he died, it was still $20 for nice. uh, an autograph. And I, you would hand him the 20 and he would stand up and pull out his wallet and put the 20 in his wallet. <laughs> and then put it back in his pocket. And then he had an empty chair next to him and he would sign your picture and then you would come around and sit in the empty chair and he would take a selfie with you and he would hold the phone up and do it. And then that was it. And like, he had a system worked out. He was great. Yeah. That's sounds, a good dude. Like a good guy. Yeah, he was yeah. a nice dude. That's Maybe amazing. that's why yeah. he, can, he was able to do it so affordable. No yeah. handler. Mm -hmm. um, Miller Time says, uh, ha ha, shit the bed. That's a Sid <laughs> Haig quote from that movie. Yeah. He says, yeah, yeah, he liked those women in prison movies. He was yeah. in a bunch of those. Oh, Pam was Greer. Well, yeah, he was, yeah, he right, was with right, the, right. in them with Pam Greer. And then uh, in, in my favorite 
Tarantino movie, uh, Jackie Brown. He's yeah. a judge in that. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And Pam Greer didn't know he had been cast. And that was, she didn't know until the day she showed up on set to film that scene. And she was cracking the fuck up because she's like, this guy was a criminal in all the other movies. <laughs> and now he's a judge. Oh, yeah. I'm going to go yeah. back and watch Jackie Brown. Yeah. Again. Yeah, I've been watching a while. Yeah, that was right before he was rediscovered, yeah. mm-hmm. right? Yeah, or you know, whatever. <laughs> Rob Zombie, yeah, and Spider Baby too, of course. I'm mm-hmm. sure you guys talked about Spider Baby, right? Yeah, we did the yeah. whole, yeah, the whole career. I think, yeah, yeah we went through Spider-Man. a lot. He's been in a lot of Star Trek too. Mm-hmm. We talked about MacGyver. He was gotcha. in that, yeah, mm-hmm. and THX one one three eight. He was in Bone Tomahawk there before he died. That's right, he was. He was. Wasn't him like David Arquette? Yeah, in mm-hmm. those early mm-hmm. yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, it's a good movie. Um, the Night of the Living Dead remake. Night of I, Dead I 3D. Prefer, I prefer remember? not to watch. I've seen yeah. parts. I prefer not to talk about it. Uh, the week before, we watched the movie called Existence, and Scross793 writes in again oh. and says, even though I know fuck all about video games, I quite enjoyed this one. Cronenberg mm-hmm. is definitely a unique, a unique film maker. That's yes. a good one. Yep. I like that one. And Bell Tolls 1984 says, I love it when Cronenberg goes full Cronenberg. Mm-hmm. This film and Crimes of the Future are great examples of that, in my opinion. You guys still haven't I gotta watched it. No, Crimes Colin, of the Future. should we watch Crimes of the you Future? Watch yeah, Crimes okay. Yeah, no, right. I want to watch right. Crimes of the yeah. Future. Do you own it? Colin? I do not. Okay. Fuck. It's out there. I somewhere. think it's on Hulu, actually. I just saw it come yeah, up recently. It was like, yeah, I got yeah, it, right. had a banner ad. Yeah, I was like, oh, like, shit. Yeah. You like uh, yeah. Existence Video Drome, that kind of Cronenberg, you will like. Crimes of the Future. Mm-hmm. Now we're going to go around the table and tell you what we thought of tonight's movie, which was Hack O' Lantern. That's starting with Michaela. <laughs> what did you think about tonight's movie, Hack O' Lantern? Uh, I mean, I love to see Gregory Scott Cummins. We, as we've we established, see, we're his fan club, right? If nothing else, so. if I come out of this freak show, it's it, it'll yeah. be because somebody <laughs> said I love seeing Gregory Scott <laughs> Cummins, and yes. God damn it. Um, I can't wait to meet you at a convention. I don't know when you're when yeah when you're not busy making shit still. <laughs> but, but what am I going to get signed by him? Because there's so many good options. Yeah. Probably Action USA. Lot. I would think, but unless there's um, one we haven't seen yet. Yeah, but I I'm sure know, Stone Cold is tempted too. Um, yeah, yeah, but yeah. I, yeah, maybe maybe I'll just maybe he'll be cheap enough that I could just get like five autographs from like everything, and then we could we could literally have. A Gregory Scott comment c- comments wall down here with Listen, all of his like, autographs. You go up to him yeah. and you say, "Look, we have a Hall of Fame, <laughs> and, and you are on it, and we love you." We've covered and, five of your movies, right? Yes. And here, and <laughs> yeah. then you give him yeah. the, right, and then yes. you just give him CDs of, yeah. of the shows. We've yeah, done. just Whatever. burn the direct, ep- oh my god, direct, how old are you? Burn the no, episode of the podcast to, to a CD. Contact <laughs> to the to the podcast. <laughs> yes, it's like. Uh, yeah. He, yeah, we want to start um, a, sp- a sponsorship with. It. Is, is he on cameo? Can I get a cameo from yeah, this guy coming? You know, the, like, like the show. I'm, I'm going to have to look and see. Does he have a social media show. presence? <laughs> like, I like if he has an Instagram, I'll just straight up DM him and be it's, like, it, dude, we've covered five year movies. It's weird because I don't want to have technically people on the show. I want to invite them over to watch a movie with us, <laughs> with us and then yeah. join us in the yeah. conversation. Yeah, um, Scott Cummins, if you want to do that. Let but now I feel like I got to go back and listen to more of the It's Always Sunny podcast to see if they talk about him at all mm. because they were doing every episode mm-hmm. of the show. So good. I got to go and see what episodes Max Dad is in mm-hmm. and see if they talk about him at all. But um, I love him. Love seeing him. I love his I love the his weird vibe. I dig it. Um, if I were making movies now, I would I would he he. He would be to me what Sid Haig is to Rob Zombie, right? Like I would put him in fucking everything, you know. Sure. Um, uh, but he's not enough to carry a movie for me. And this movie is just—it's a little too amateur for to to recommend, mm-hmm. I guess. Like it's just there's not enough here. It's mm-hmm. it's not blood rage, unfortunately. Not everything can be. Uh, there is some funny stuff, but I found myself mostly kind of bored with it. Mm-hmm. So I'm going to pass on it. But I would say it's like a soft pass. I don't hate this movie. It's it's whatever. Mm-hmm. I can see why Joe Bob did it, especially because you definitely run out of Halloween themed horror movies at a certain <laughs> point. Right. Yeah. So yeah. And, and looking ahead to my pick, I'm like Googling even just like fall atmosphere horror movie. Cause I'm like, <laughs> what is left? You know, that we haven't yeah, done. What have we not yeah. done? Um, and it did have a good fall atmosphere for the most part. And like lots of pumpkins and Halloween party, all that shit was cool. Mm-hmm. But I just, it, yeah, it, it just not enough to push over the line for me. So I'm not going to recommend it. Holly, what'd you think? Yeah, I'm, I'm with you a hundred percent. You know, Gregory Scott Cummings, come on, just <laughs> perfection. I, I love lo- him I, so much. I love that we've, raised him up he's just oh he's i found oh i'm sorry sorry i found his instagram oh and he only created it and started posting it when the sag after strike happened and it's just him picketing 
We love a union oh, man. Oh, very nice. He's very nice. Good man. Good yeah, man. Amazing. And look, oh my God, the last, the last one was posted on my birthday and it says, Bosch cast and crew writers, director supporting the writer strike. Bosch. Oh, so yes, yeah. 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 Bosh. Yeah. Yes, he's picking it. Yeah. yeah. Oh, that's All right. Great. All right. Yeah. He's All convinced right. me to go watch yes. Bosch. Yes. An Amazon original series. All right. I'm totally going <laughs> to try to slide in his DMs. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> amazing. Um, yes. So maybe we... Oh uh, no! I was like, I was gonna say we could we could still have him listen to this episode. Yeah, because oh, sure. I'm not gonna recommend the movie, but I love him. But we love yeah, you. Yeah, yeah, love it. <laughs> yeah. I, I agree with you. Like, the, there's something amateurish that it doesn't quite make the mark. Like, it doesn't hit that charming, ridiculous point that we like. Mm, it's it's close. Yeah, like it's but... just not ridiculous enough. It's it's weird, but it doesn't do it for me. I I agree. I like the Halloween vibes. You know, it, it's good for this time of year, but. I was pretty bored with it for the most part. So, yeah, I agree with you. Miss the mark. Can't recommend. He has a part of his website called Greg's Corner that's a blog. <gasps> He's got, oh, okay. Greg's Corner. And oh um, the last <laughs> entry is from September 2nd, 2020, and he talks about shooting Bosch's seventh season. Oh, my gosh. So, so he, all right. So Bosch really got him on it the really, internet. Yeah. Bosch got him yeah, on the internet, yeah. which he yeah. had. Yeah. He's like, yeah. what is this? Yeah. What Thank is this? Yeah, because on, because on Instagram, he's not verified or anything, and he has like no, seven. All right. He, so he I didn't have, know about the internet until Bosch. I have more followers than him <laughs> on Instagram. Oh, that's he's a shame. Got it's all going to change after today. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I was like, that's about to change. Yeah, flood, flood his yes. Instagram. He's about to get a couple more. He's got yes. seven hundred fifty-six will follow. followers. Yeah, he's is yeah. So I didn't. Anyways, recommend. Colin. Uh, yeah, it's amateurish, like you say. Uh, Gregory Scott coming. I mean, only because we know who he is. I think I took notice of him in this movie tonight because I'd seen this before. <laughs> Didn't like I was like, oh, this oh, this I is forgot. bad. Yeah, because yeah, I mean, this is not his movie. No, at it's all. not his movie. Right. Yeah. And it is, he has nothing really to do in it, so it's it's fun for us because we recognize him from other. We've seen him in other stuff. Yes. So this is really the High Pike movie. Uh, <laughs> High Pike <laughs> oh, is. Yeah. I mean, if there was a reason to see this movie, uh, it's probably for him, just because. It's just, you know, it's one of those loopy, uh, you know, there's no restraints. He knows more about acting and probably directing and filmmaking than the filmmakers do. Right, and know. so he doesn't care. He knows yeah. what he's in. And so he's entertaining. Uh, but yeah, it was, I think, like <laughs> what you said, it, it's dull. It's amateurish. It's weird. But like some of the stuff that come, even though I enjoyed the uh, music video, I enjoyed the mm. full frontal kamikaze nudity that was seems to right. be happening. Yeah, like and watching all, all of this, I'm like, Colin has to like a lot of yeah, this I, I do, but on a certain level, on a certain yeah, level, yeah, yeah. I mean, it wasn't as bad. Like I had seen it, I think on the like I said, the Joe Bob show, yeah. and I forgot all forgot. about. It. I was watching I it, and I'm like, Colin, and watch this. I don't movie. remember. This. We don't remember this. <laughs> so there's a reason for that, right? <laughs> yes. uh, it's not very good. Um, and that comedian thing, like, oh, that's really like, brutal. That's what we're doing oh, here. It's like we're just man. stopping the movie for. Like, oh. Um, yeah, I'm not gonna. Re- Bill Tucker, it. fuck <laughs> you. <laughs> that's the comedian. I was like, that's your feud. Started yeah. with yeah, oh, started fuck with you, him. Bill Tucker. He's still around. <laughs> Sorry, dude. And Burford, 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 Hauser. yeah, Burford Hauser. Burford Hauser. No, I can't. We like no, Burford. I can't. You know, we, yeah, I was gonna <laughs> say, we like Burford. I know because he did the legwork. He connected those yeah. scenes. You said with the he sister. did, and then he was like, I'm out. Yeah. Burford Hauser is in. <laughs> uh, so I would not recommend it. Sean, what did you think? I mean, everything you guys said, I agree with. And, that, you know, that's it. Um, uh, yeah, uh, I, I, I can't. You know, we love Gregory. Yeah, We love him. We're going to call him Gregory for now. Yeah. We're on a yeah. first name basis with him. Uh, but, yeah, we love him. And there is some really great weirdness in this movie. But, again, it's not. There is also a lot of dullness in this movie. Um, I think if they'd made certain parts of this more interesting maybe the satanic stuff but at a certain point it does get a little dull but yeah it's just a it's a weird movie um again not weird enough to be like wow that was some weird shit i have to recommend that you see it eh, if you're part of the gregory scott cummins fan club yes you should watch this movie you gotta punch that hole on your card right yeah. so right, yeah, you know, yeah, yeah like yeah. if you are part of that and you know that yeah. you should watch this movie other than that nah uh, we got a uh, a weird movie with a title that it doesn't earn. Right. Yes, yeah. uh, which should be. I wish we could separate it and and give it to the world. It's mm-hmm. like world. You can use Hack a Lantern for other things. Titles up for grabs again. Right. I think yeah. that's where we should leave that. Well, like, would you use it? Ed? 
uh, an anthology. Oh. Yeah, that a, a would be Halloween good. Halloween anthology oh, called yeah. Hack a Lantern. I That's think that would be that would be good. That would be somebody the get their part. head turned into a pumpkin at some point. Is that where we're going? Something with the or somebody gets. They, they would all you know have what? to be like no, pumpkin. You know what centric. I want? I want someone to be strapped to a chair, and mm-hmm. then a car pumpkin's put on their head, and then with the car pumpkin on their head, it gets snapped. <laughs> <laughs> all right. That's a good part of that movie. I don't know. Or maybe but, the, ho- the host, there's a host, and the whole time he's talking in between segments, he's carving a pumpkin. Yeah. 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 And then at the end, he turns around and it's like head or something. Yeah. Yeah. There are things. Yeah. You can do outside of this movie yeah. that Hack Lantern doesn't, you know, uh, doesn't earn. So I'm gonna pass on Hack Lantern. But that name, use yeah. it, people, use yeah. it. <laughs> but this movie doesn't well, quite come after it. you in people's court if you do. It's not in the public domain. I mean, out. true, 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 true. Yeah. But so could you yeah. could you fudge it if you made it like all one word instead of the dashes Ooh. or something? Yes. Yeah. Or if wonder, you made it yeah, three right. separate words? What are the legal yeah, ways yeah. to get a around lantern, this? Hack yeah. a lantern. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Or do like the O apostrophe like yeah. it's yeah. Irish? Yeah, ha- yeah. Hack a lantern or yeah. something. Yeah. <laughs> hack a lantern. <laughs> yeah. But it doesn't do quite enough to get there for a recommendation, um, even though there are some interesting stuff. So I'm going to pass along with the rest of everybody else on Hack a lantern. Mm-hmm. So I wow. think you that's, don't have to watch it. Yeah. It's illegal to watch it now. Yeah. Stuck with us this long. It's like, it, no, it turns out. I, yeah, it's, yeah. I, I was going to say, it's <laughs> weird that there was a, there was a joyous amount of uh, a fun had in this podcast for a movie where we're all going to be like, no, yeah. don't yeah. watch it. Yeah. But that happens yeah. on this show, and you know, mm-hmm. there you go. So what watch at your own risk, that's I would say. Do. There you go. Uh, all right. Well, uh, next week we're going to be watching a movie that's chosen by. Hi! Olé. Uh, <laughs> what are we watching next week? Uh, spooky season rolls on. Yes, uh, we are watching a movie called Mausoleum. Ooh. Oh, oh. I, have, okay. uh, I, I, think I was just looking it. into that one. All right, all right, all right, all right. Good choice, good choice. Mm-hmm. All right, very yep. nice. Yep. All right, I think that's another vinegar syndrome. Yeah, yeah. There is. yeah. yeah. Uh, that okay. one came up. Yeah, good choice. All right. Yeah. I yep. remember. Yep. I think I remember hearing a lot about this like way earlier. Yeah, on. yeah. It's been on my list for a while. Yeah. I'm saving it for home. Yeah. Okay. All right. Yeah. All right. Well, uh, Mausoleum next week on the Saturday Night Freak Show. We hope you'll join us. And until then, ladies and germs, the basement is going dark.